Hello everyone, I'm Hank and welcome to Comments VR. Today, I'll introduce the progress from the last update. Last video, I implemented the flex sensor and the integration with the Oculus headset. In today's video, nine flex sensors are implemented to fully read the finger's movement. In addition, MPU gyro sensors and DC motors are implemented as well. I decided to use two flex sensors at each finger. As you can see, there are two major band motions at each finger. By attaching two sensors on each finger, I can read quite accurate finger movement. All this sensor's output is read by analog pins in Arduino. I used the Tinkercad to design the required parts for my project. The first part is the motor bed. I'm using total 8 motors for each hand. Two motors for each finger. As I already mentioned in the previous video, thumb's movement is very complicated. I will cover it later. Each motor has D-shaft with a 3mm diameter. I made a D-hole knob with an extra horizontal hole where the string can be attached. String holder has to be attached on the finger as well. Since we are using two motors in each finger, holder should be attached at the end of the finger and the first joint of the finger. I already checked what motor is best to provide the haptic feedback. Motor has to keep running to sustain a tension of the string but should not impede the hand movement. At the same time, it has enough power to reduce the hand movement when the feedback is needed. I use 6 volt DC motor with gear at 1500 RPM. I used L293 DC motor driver. This H-bridge model can control two motors. I used total four drivers for this project. I attach the motor drivers on top of the motor's bed. I'm temporarily using MPU 6050 gyro sensors to track 6 degree of freedom. I'm going to replace these sensors to Vive Tracker or other third-party sensors, which has a great accuracy. I will start 6 DOF tracking once all the finger movements and haptic feedback is completed. Motor sustain tension of the string so it freely release and rewind the wire. However, when the feedback is needed, it holds strong enough to reduce the hand movement. MPU gyro sensor coarsely track the hand movement. Once again, I will use Vive Tracker in the future project. However, MPU 6050 shows a satisfactory accuracy. Flex sensors still need optimization, but it is working properly. In today's video, I implemented all the required hardware for the VR Haptic Glove project. I still need to optimize the flex sensors, gyro sensor, and a haptic feedback motor, but it is working properly. In next video, I will explain how the hardware are implemented in Unity and Arduino. Thank you for watching, I will come back with a great idea.